affecting cities yeah. and counties' ability to regulate residential development. It's all part of a new bill, and that's made its way to Governor Katie Hobbs' desk. Reporter Eduardo Morales shares more on this mean or what this means for these communities and should it pass. According to the Arizona League of Cities and Towns, the bill is meant to begin more starter home development. However, not everyone is on board. I hope the governor doesn't sign this uh, this particular bill into into law because it will make it more difficult for us to manage uh, the health and safety of our residents. Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols explains how the bill would change residential development. It takes that process out of the hands of not just the city, but the people of Yuma, because they have no voice on whether they want their, their neighborhood to now have really small lots. Mayor Nichols also says the bill could bring other issues to our area, such as not having a local say in determining density and housing types. We don't design them, we don't plan them, we don't prepare for them with that level of intensity. And so things like water lines, sewer lines, uh, even our, our emergency responses, our uh, parking, things as simple as parking become more difficult. The bill, if passed, would only affect a population of 70,000 or more. The vision is get more people into homes due to the current shortage. Governor Hobbs has five days to either sign or veto the bill. Reporting in Yuma, Eduardo Morales, 13 on your side.